Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum is not only an underrated release, but it also redeems the mid-release of the Eau de Toilette that came out previously. But is it right for you? Let's find out. Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum was perfumed by Aurelien Gachard in 2022 in Spain. And this is obviously Eau de Parfum concentration. When you look at the box, it doesn't tell you much. This is a very simplistic box. It does say Burberry on the top, ingredients and information on the back, and then on the bottom, batch code, barcode, information, and Nothing important, but we get onto the bottle, which I think actually looks incredible. This is my 50 ml bottle, by the way, sported with a magnetic cap, ASMR right here. Just listen to this. What an amazing sound. On the top you get TB, which I cannot remember what that stands for. This is kind of a brown bottle with gold accenting. Burberry Hero, and then it says Eau de Parfum. On the bottom on a sticker, it does say my batch code, which is 3198. So Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum comes in three sizes, 50, 100 ml, and 150 ml. So for the 50 ml, you're looking at 143 Canadian dollars, and the 150 ml, 233 dollars Canadian. It is still limited on discounters, but if I find that for a good price. I will definitely list that in the description below. Why buy this fragrance if you don't even know what it smells like? Let's dive into the listed notes. The top notes are pine needles and olibanum. The mid notes, benzoin and incense, with the base notes, atlas cedar, Himalayan cedar, and Virginian cedar. Those listed notes are actually very, very good, but there is an accord that's kind of created here with those notes that I will discuss. So what do I smell with Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum? You'd think like the pine needles would be the prominent characteristic of this fragrance. To be honest, I do not get much. If at all if you get pine needles, that's totally fine. But personally, I don't. It basically is a woody, spicy, sweet fragrance with a little bit of a smoky undertone from that incense. It's pretty much plain and simple exactly that. That trio of different cedar notes gives a nice woody backdrop to this fragrance, which adds a lot of masculinity with that kind of spice because that ambery sweetness can come across a little bit feminine if it wasn't backed up by these masculine notes. This is definitely an improvement on the Eau de Toilette concentration. It didn't stand out. It didn't make me want to buy a bottle and that's why I don't have one at this current moment. But when I sprayed it on skin, I was like, eh. But Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum by scent profile alone is a big step in the right direction. Before I discuss this even further, let's spray this on skin so I can show you the atomizer. As you can see, good coverage, good atomizer, solid presentation in that scent profile. It stands out like the Eau de Toilette never could even dream of doing. This actually gives me such a great feeling when I wear this. Let's dive in further to what I smell. This scent profile is a masculine scent profile being presented with different types of woods, a smoky incense, and a little bit of a sweetness backdrop. It does definitely work its way further towards unisex, towards the dry down, which I will discuss in the performance. I think that this fragrance is perfect for into intimate dinners, dates, anytime you want to dress up, be a little bit higher class. Towards the progression of the dry down, you're going to get a little bit of a leathery accord. I don't know why not a lot of people mention it, but the combination of notes, the ambers, the woods, it all combines together to give me a nice leathery, classy accord. There's no listed leather in here at all, and maybe some people aren't going to get leather, but to me anyways, on my skin, it does smell like, if you picture like a high-end wallet, the type of smell that gives off, or like new car seats, that kind of of leather. I think it's important to at least mention what I smell, right? I wore this in a casino when I was out at Niagara Falls and I thought that it matched the occasion perfectly. I was with a nice dress shirt, rolled up sleeves, but because of the more warming, sweet scent profile, a lot of people are going to say that this is a fall and winter fragrance. Take with that what you will because you can obviously wear any fragrance at any time, no matter who you are at what age. Just wear whatever you think you like and whatever matches your personal style. Let's move on to the performance. This fragrance opens as described. If you see the note break down, it opens exactly as that with a little bit of an underlaying of that leather accord that I mentioned. Classy, ambery, woody, smoky, leather undertone accord created. And you're looking at about two plus feet of projection when this is first sprayed on, but that's going to probably die down after about like 15 minutes. This is a classy scent profile, not meant for clubbing, not meant to show off and be very loud with your fragrance. This is a classier, well-dressed fragrance. So do not expect this to be overly loud. It sits a little bit closer to your skin at about a half foot after one hour, but it maintains the exact same scent profile from the initial opening. Now, after about four hours, this is where that incense kind of dies off. You're going to pick up on that woody kind of ambery scent profile, which creates a leathery accord in the back. That is what's most prominent to me after that four hour mark. It's still about a half foot of projection at this point. After about six hours though, that leathery accord in amber really, really starts to shine as being the prominent characteristics of this fragrance. I lose a little bit of that trio of cedar wood and that incense 
defense is completely gone at this point, but you're still detecting it between a half foot and a skin scent of projection. And that's gonna last up to eight hours before this fragrance fades into the abyss and you'll never find it again until you respray. So I think that the performance is quite average with this fragrance. I really do wish it had better performance, but I think that's pretty average and expected with a scent profile like this. If I was to give Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum a scale from one to 10, I'm gonna give this fragrance an eight out of 10. I think that it smells incredible. I think that it is an underrated fragrance that no one is really talking about. And if you really wanted a fragrance that is going to make you shine and is going to give you a little bit of confidence when you go out and represent you very well, you should look into this fragrance. If you like unique compliment pulling fragrances, I highly suggest you check out this review right here because you're gonna love that fragrance as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you over there.